I'm doing this video here on Rapala fillet and knife. If you don't have one of these electric Rapala fillet and knives, I would go get one. Um, I'm not a salesman for Rapala. I just uh, really enjoy actually cleaning fish with this knife. It's quick, fast, does an excellent job. Usually what I do when I cut my fish is I will uh, I'll use this knife here to cut around the rib cage to get all you know to get all the bad stuff out to get a real good clean fillet. So I use their I actually use them both, but I use this one to do a real quick job. This is just to make them nice and cleaned up. So I just want everybody to know this is not no Rapala salesman type guy. I don't get paid for this. None of that kind of stuff. I'm just doing this video to show you guys how, how awesome this thing works. I got some walleye and I got um, some sauger here I'm going to clean up today. And I'm making this video for, for all you guys to see how I do it. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Anyway, I'll lay my fish out. When you cut... So you got people who don't know how to clean fish. Walleye, there's actually, um, there's, a, there's meat in the cheekbone, but I don't really mess with that. A lot of people do get that cheek, uh, that cheek, the meat out of their cheeks, but I don't do that. Uh, but you want to make a cut uh, like, a, like a C right around here. Okay, you make that cut. Then you turn the fish around and you make a cut coming down along along the back. And then I'll go through it down to the tail and I'll leave some of it there so when I flop it over I can clean it off. But I'll make that cut and then I'll cut into it down to the rib cage and then cut through it. And, uh, I'm going to kind of show you how a little walk through on how I do this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Rapala electric fillet knife go buy one. They are freaking awesome No, I'm not a salesman. I'm just telling you if a lot of people know you catch a lot of fish it takes time and it kind of Really it kind of sucks to clean fish, you know because it takes so much time especially a lot of them but This thing is actually fun to clean fish. It is so fast It's it's so easy to do does real nice clean cuts. I've been using this thing for a long time. I've never even had to change the blades on it. This thing just keeps cutting and cutting and cutting. Like like it was brand new. It also comes with a longer blade. You get two blades with it. Uh, I purchased mine at Cabela's. But you can find them probably Walmart. You get them online. Anyway, here we go. We're going to do that first cut around here. Like I was showing you. The, like the letter C. Make that cut, come around, go down along the backbone. And when I get down to here, I'll shove all the way through that fish. Just like that, and I'll come right on down. I'm kind of doing it slow so you guys can see it. I'll come clear down to the tail. Leave just a little bit right there. Now I'll come down along here, along the back where I'm getting down to the ribs I'm starting to hit the rib cage right here so I'll cut around that I'll get up in here like this cut right around that right around that rib cage now you will catch some of the rib cage that's why I use my other fillet knife if you do it carefully and slow you're probably not going to get none of them, them rib cage but I don't like bones in my fillet and I'm sure None of you guys, none of you other anglers do either. But see how I leave that piece on that tail there. So I can have something to work with so it don't slide on me. But I'll start right in here, just a small cut, and I'll work my way right on down and clean it right up. Okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of bone right in here, and I'll show you here in a minute why I use my other fillet knife. Which is Rapala also, by the way. I'm telling you guys, they're, they're awesome. 
Make that same cut that's like a C right around the right around the gill. Go right back down through the backbone. Go through the fish, down to the tail and stop. I'll come right up along here, same way. Cut down to the to where you start feeling the, the rib cage. And I'll cut cut right down along the rib cage. Flip him around. Start right there like I showed you. Boom, that's, that one's done. Okay, now I'll take my Rapala, my other Rapala fillet knife. This right in here is all pretty much no good. You want to cut right down along here where the rib cage was at. Get all that bad stuff out of there. You don't want no. Uh, that meat's not really no good. And and plus you get there's bones in there, so I kind of like to cut around that and get that out of there. Get rid of it. That right there is what a good fillet should look like on a walleye. Same thing with this. Is I'll cut right down along, right there in the middle of that. I'll go right down through here where that kind of right down through where the fish that, that line is on the fish then I'll just cut around that rib cage get that bad stuff out of there There's one good fillet right there two good fillets to the next You'll kind of feel that rib cage when you get down to it, but like I said, when you have that other other uh, knife with you handy, <clears throat> it's not a big deal. If you get a little bit of bone in there, you can cut it right out. For me, I like to uh, I like to be fast with it, so just faster this way. But if you took the time, you wouldn't get no bones at all. But well, after I clean them up, I don't have no bones anyway. But kind of get the point. Great job, Rapala, though. I mean, they, I'm telling you, they're freaking just awesome knives. You got to go get one of these. Get both both of these knives, actually. They're freaking awesome. They really are. You can see that's the bad stuff. You just get right down there's a line that goes right down through there. I'll cut right down through where this line's at. Cut right around that rib cage. Get that bad stuff out. It's that quick, guys. I'm actually kind of going slow just for the video's sake, but. You can really zip through these fish real fast.
once I rinse all my fish off, I uh, <clears throat> I feel it real good for bones. Make sure there's no bones. Nobody likes to eat fish that has bones in them. That quick, guys. Go, go out and get you one. Been telling a lot of my friends. They kind of joke with me, but... Hey, joke's on them when it's taking them... Taking them a, a, a couple hours to clean 10 fish. I mean, this thing just is... You know, like I said, I've, I've cut so many fish with this knife, and it just keeps going and going and going. I mean, you just can't beat it. And for the price, you can't beat the price. Apollo did a freaking outstanding job. I know there's other uh, fillet knives out there. I've been a fan of Rapala since I was a young kid. And uh, I, mean, I, I catch a lot of fish on Rapala. You know, jerk baits. Catch all my fish, all my Rapala stuff. Not all my fish, but a lot of my fish. Then I'll come home and clean them with a Rapala fillet knife. They just do awesome. They're awesome. Gotta go get one, guys. Look how quick it is. Going right through these fish, no problems. Takes no time to come back with this knife. Just get yourself a nice, good, clean fillet. Cut that bad stuff out of there. See that line that goes down through there? That's a kind of go off that line because the bone, the bones are going to be on this side. Plus, that's not that meat's not really no good down there anyway. All you all walleye anglers know that that stuff's not no good either. A lot of people call them fish sticks because if you look at the flay, that's kind of what it looks like a fish stick. That one's done. I'm just flying right through these fish. See there, that rib cage there, you can feel it. I just cut right around it. Right around it just like that. Flip him around. Keep it moving. I want to get this job done quickly. I don't want to be messing around and wasting most of my day. I can be doing more time fishing and less time cleaning fish. I actually sent Rapala a, uh, an email and give him my, uh, my YouTube channel. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll subscribe and see that I am doing a video about their products. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll send me a free hat or something nice. That would be cool. Rapala, if you're seeing this. Freaking awesome job, guys. Ever since I was a young kid, you guys always had some awesome, awesome stuff. Everything Rapala is freaking awesome. I used to use those little uh, floating Rapalas. And then I remember years ago when the countdown finally came around. That was an awesome bait, and they just keep getting better and better as the years go by. And now they got them with rattles in them, and them walleye freaking love them. I 
On to the next one. Moving right along. I got eight eight fish right here. Did five of them already. It's moving real quickly. Oh, the cleanup on these on the knife itself too is very very easy that blade comes right off there it's so easy to clean these up real good so the cleanup itself with the knife itself takes no time at all I normally get a lot faster, but I'm making a video for you guys so you can see how this works. How nice and fillets are. Nothing beats fresh walleye, guys. Sauger, saw guy. Gotta love it. On to the next one. I would think the smart anglers out there, if they have the money, I can't remember what I paid for this. I think it might have been like around a $60 range. But this thing has made its money back 10 times already. I mean, like, I, I, I've cleaned well over 100 fish with this thing, and this thing just keeps going and going and going. By the way, shout out to my friend uh, Travis Palmer. He's with us on Fishing Anglers Outdoors, Facebook. Go check that out too. Fishing Anglers Outdoors. Go there and join us. Uh, but he actually was with me. I went to go buy a new St. Croix rod. And uh, he helped me pick out which rod to get. And, and we started talking about kind of seeing these knives. And he told me that he had one of them. He was like, man, I'll tell you what, it's they're awesome. He said, I've, I've never had to buy a new blade for mine. That thing just keeps going and going and going. And he said, if you got the money and can afford it, buddy, go ahead and get it. And, you know, big shout out to him because he was right, man. I mean, I, I, it's, it's some of the best money I've ever spent. He still thinks I, he, he acts like, he says, oh, yeah, I swear you're a salesman for uh, Rapala. But, uh, no, guys, I'm not no salesman for Apollo, but, and I don't make nothing off of this, but I tell you what, this, this thing has paid for itself over and over again already. See, there's a, there's some meat right in here. People cut this out. They make, like, little, uh, I guess it's really good stuff, but I, I don't really waste too much time with it. I'll go ahead and get it out of there and show you. They take that, that's a cheek, that's a cheek, uh, meat. And something like that, I probably want to use my little knife, but. Yeah, see it? They fry those up like that. It's really tender kind of meat. I don't really, I don't, I don't waste too much time with that stuff.
eight fish. So I'm already almost done. Well, eight fish in the sink. Just to show you guys how awesome this knife is. got bone in it and it's it's just no good you walleye anglers know exactly what I'm talking about hopefully this video help help some of you guys uh, number one go out and buy a, a, a great knife and stop wasting your time with you know these are awesome knives and it'll cut through some fish quickly but not like this not this quick i don't care how fast you are i'm fast with one of these too and i don't care how fast you are that thing right there will will outcut this one three three to one i i'd put it i'd pretty much bet anybody but if you think that uh you can do them faster with one of these and one of these I'd, I'd really like to see it <laughs> or you might be some really good chef or something but anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show some more uh, video footage I got and make sure you guys go check out our uh, our website fishing anglers outdoors at facebook.com uh, we're trying to get more members on there trying to get make our page grow and um but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will be showing you i'm going to do some cleaning up here but i'll be showing you some more fish that i have clean too thanks for watching guys
close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on
Thank you.